Now, one of the questions I get asked every now and then is, why should somebody have a coach? You know, why work with a coach? And so on page 17, there's some reasons there, or you know, some information about why to use a coach. Now, these are by no means exclusive or exhaustive. But, you know, every company's success depends largely on the performance of its people. Uh, coaching is imperative for the success of an organization and of its people. Coaching helps to bring out the best in people and to assist them in their journey of growth and discovery. Coaching can assist in the growth and development of leaders. Coaching assists in enhancing productivity, improved job satisfaction, job, job longevity, etc. But one, one of the other things that I get asked though is, well, is it going to work for me? And you know, certainly from a business point of view, you know, people are always looking for return on investment. And so I've given you a number of studies that they've actually done so that these are things that you can go and research for yourself or information that you can give to your clients. So one study documented uh, in the Manchester Review entitled Maximizing the Impact of Executive Coaching. And so what they did was they studied 100 senior executives from 56 different companies. And they found that the return on investment was almost 5.7 times the initial investment. So for every, let's say they spent a thousand pounds for coaching, well then they made 5,700 pounds back, not necessarily financially, but the return on investment from the coaching. Another study of 30 executives who participate in a large executive developmental program at a Fortune 500 company found that the coaching resulted in a 529% return on investment. Imagine that, 529%. The next one, Harvard Business Review had an article about companies that spent on employee development and they found that they actually outperformed the S&P 500 by 17 to 35 percent during 2003. Now this was a slightly different spin on coaching but again go and have a look at that, that document. Then of course coaching has become a significant and regular part of most leadership development activities and there was an article done by the Corporate Leadership Council in 2003 and then, of course, it's estimated that 70% of organizations with formal leadership development initiatives were using coaching as a key ingredient. In fact, I saw an article recently where they said that the return on investment from coaching, for some people, as much as 6 to 40 times their return on investment, meaning £1,000 spent on coaching 40,000 pounds back. Now, if I was going to say to you, or if you were going to say to me, Wayne, give me 1,000 pounds and I'm going to give you 10,000 pounds back, I'll ask you how many thousand pounds I can give you. You know, I'll be reinvesting it all the time. So the question why to use coaching, I think you should be able to, as a coach, be congruent in your description and your reasons why somebody might want to work with you. So these are just some examples from a business point of view and looking at return on investment. But as you know, you can use coaching for accepting change, for adaptability issues, for anger management, career development, changing of position, uh, commitment issues, cultural differences, decision making, emotional intelligence, for job selection, motivation, performance enhancement, personal organization, process coaching, project planning, time management. We can use coaching in so many different niches, dating coaching. And depending on the type of client that you work with, you will have your own reasons why they might want to work with a coach. What is So remember, what is in it for me? Always think, what will be in it for the client? What are they going to get? from working with you as a coach. And like I said, I think you need to be able to congruently relay that back to the client, what is in it for them, and what's going to benefit them to be working with you as a coach.